All of the business out in the street, with all of the table talks, with all of the, with all of it. If they elect to stay together, and he decides to stay, and she decides to stay, that's their love and that's their business. Just to bring it to another level, the Ob Obamas, who we love. We love the Obamas. What? I'll scrap behind the Obamas. But Michelle did speak to, there was a time in their marriage where she didn't really dig Barack because they were in a space where, hey, things were a little rocky and rough. Their responsibilities, things of that nature were not flowing and it was a rough patch. But she herself says out of, I think, roughly 30 years of marriage, if you have a rough patch of about seven to 10, she'll take it. Because had she given up, we wouldn't have this story that I'm talking about right now. We would not have the Obamas in the construct that we know them to be right now. But she made a decision. He made a decision to be committed to the relationship, to each other, to the family that goes beyond the love and the um, emotions and the intimacy and the butterflies. It's a commitment and an action. Love is an action. And sometimes you make an action to stay. Come what may, you make a commitment to stay. And at the core of it, if that's what those two adults want to do, that's their business. Now, granted, do I want to hear about it? Not really. I did watch a podcast um, recently with Jada that I'm glad I watched. It gave me some insight. And I um, am hopeful that they can wrap this thing up in a bow, whether it is continuing the journey together, maybe differently, or separate. That's up to them. I don't want to see any family be broken up, but all of the children are grown now. And according to what uh, Jada is saying, they were familiar and knew about every aspect of what was going on, so there's no surprises, which is also... We can question the ages and the way and all that, but that's their family dynamic. And the fact that they're all adults and all still together as a cohesive unit, knowing the mess, that's the essence of family. That's the essence of family. So we don't have to like how it looks or how it translates, but I encourage all of us to not walk in judgment. I'm not saying that I haven't walked in judgment, but I know that I was like moved to correction because, hey, some of us haven't been married or dated for 30 minutes, let alone 30 years or 25. I mean, can we just get an amen on that? So truly, <laughs> whatever, do, do you, okay? But at the end of the day, having walked through divorce and all of that pain, I know I was humbled and I'm like, I can't pass judgment on anybody when it comes to relationships and what people elect to do to stay together, grow together, thrive together or not. So to Will and Jada, I hope you all figure it out, continue to figure it out. And um, I'm going to support uh, my reading the book. I've already read Will's book when it came out and I, it was amazing. And I hope that I get something out of uh, Jada's book as well, because, you know, you can learn from everybody. And uh, again, let's just be cautious with how we put people on certain levels within the culture. But then when they start acting crazy, it's a cancel culture. We don't need to cancel individuals who really have brought us some gems that are timeless, cult classics. I mean, who can be mad at, be mad at Set It Off? Who? Who? Jason's Lyric. Who? Who can be mad at Will? Emancipation. Ali. Who? Let's uh, be encouraging one to another and uh, keep fighting the good fight. And hopefully things will quiet down sooner or later. And that doesn't mean I agree with everything that's been going on, but I'm just saying, let's just chill. Have a good day, everybody. Or evening. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and I would be uh, very grateful. Have a good one. Bye-bye.